this is our video number two on this 14 ton chiller. Um, as mentioned, there's a four degree differential. It just hit 24 Fahrenheit, so the compressor's turned on. And now it's gonna chill back down to uh, 20 M. Um, with such a small load and the temperature in our shop here, the fans are gonna cycle on and off fairly quickly. Um, the low ambient feature capability is achieved by these fans going on and off based on a refrigerant pressure. In addition to the chiller being weatherproof, that's what also allows it to run outdoors in cold weather. Let's see we're down to 23 there. Use the type of pressures. The low, low pressure should be on the left. I'm sorry, yeah, our high pressure gauge is on the left. You see the fan just turned up, I'm sorry. When the fan turns on, you'll see that the pressure drops a little bit. But the high pressure gauge on the left. Pressure's building, the fans are off. And you'll see the fan click back on. So our high pressure is gonna slowly go down. And that's all based on um, climate, like all temperatures, etc. Um, oh, so we're already down to uh, 20. So most likely it's when it just surpasses 20. I guess just below 20 is when the compressors and the um, chilling cycle will turn off. Because we have no load, it's just a loop with the tank volume. Obviously gonna bring it down fairly fairly quickly. There might be a minimum run time where the compressors are still running a little bit right now. Built into that controller. Yeah, so that so the fans and the compressor just turned off. But the glycol pump obviously continues to run. This has by the way a one and a half inch process fitting. I've, I've run it for a couple hours in our shop at the 20 Fahrenheit. Um, obviously you need to insulate your glycol lines. It's not exactly humid in here in the northeast today. So you can see it's starting to build up some ice. So we're going to start decommissioning, decommissioning, disconnecting this, prepping it for uh, shipping to its new home. This is Scott from KIG. Our website is kigsales.com. Thank you.